Okay, so let's talk a little bit about this Clark Wilson model. This is a, a pretty cool model if you've never seen it before, and we'll try to draw it out on the screen for you to make sure that everybody is um, everybody understands specifically. But in the the series of these models being funded by you know R and D or government grants, uh, you know the the first one was the Bell La Padula, the second one was the Biba. And the third one was the Clark Wilson. And in the, the scheme of things, this one is actually pretty cool for any uh, software engineer or systems developer because you have five different objects that come into play here. You have the users, you have transformation procedures, constrained data items, unconstrained data items, and the integrity verification procedures which is sounds like a mouthful and really when you're getting paid to do research it's kind of fun to come up with these acronyms if you've ever done research you know what I'm talking about um, but these controls are put in place really to keep the data integrity intact and to have a high level of integrity you force the access triple in our case here we're trying to get with the Clark Wilson the well-formed transactions and specifically, can a user or a program uh, be able to invoke something uh, in that program that maybe should not be modified like a constrained data interface? And by having the access uh, triple, we're able to put controls in place to make sure that the integrity of data is intact. If you've ever done anything with uh, collecting information like on a database, you'll know that uh, you can't put an integer in something that is constrained to only accept um, uh, non-numeric values. And same thing for uh, if you're trying to stuff in chars into a, uh, an integer value, the program will barf and really you put those constraints or in this case it's called a constrained data item these constraints in place to make sure that the integrity of data is intact so this Clark Wilson model is pretty cool and we'll do a diagram to show you a little bit more about this here um, on the next video